Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you Windows 8.1, also known as Windows Blue, build 9374. Here you see the watermark on Microsoft on the desktop, and it is really the build 9374, just to check if I made any mistake. And so you, on the home screen, or on the start screen, first thing you will notice is this arrow in the bottom left corner and if you click on it you will get an app list where all the apps are basically listed and sorted by name or by date installed or by most used. And I will come to this app list later because here's a new app called the files app and here with that you can browse your files on the metro. The lifestyles on Windows 8.1 have also changed. So now you can set a larger tile for the desktop that takes two rows of the big uh, life tiles and you can even set a smaller life tile we know from Windows Phone and this is the smallest and you can change this life tile to the smallest size and which you can see here. If you want to change the life tiles and the place where they are, you have to click right on the home screen and click here on customize. Now you, uh, the screen will appear and you can move the tiles wherever you want. So now it won't happen that you move any tiles accidentally and forget where they have been before. Okay, that's a great feature, I think, but it's I sometimes don't like it if you have to click, click right on Windows 8 and customize the settings, but this is just a thing that I, want, I don't like. And a new app that I have mentioned before is the Files app. This is basically a file browser that completely looks like the SkyDrive app, and with that you can browse your documents, music, pictures, videos, whatever, but you cannot see any system files. You can connect your account to the SkyDrive and browse these files in all-in-one app. And this is really great for users of touch devices because now they don't have to go to the desktop and browse their files with uh, Windows Explorer because without a mouse this is not really comfortable. So what we have got new in Windows 8.1 build 9374 are some new settings which I'm going to show you now here you will notice some new PC settings in the Metro user interface first of all here is screen here you can change the power and sleep settings of your PC and on display you can change the resolution and the orientation of your display all that is now possible in the Metro user interface without changing to the desktop view. On the user settings we have one really big feature and this is called kiosk mode. Here you can set a user if you are the administrator and choose an app and as soon as this user logs in he will be redirected to an app which you can choose here. You can choose an app from this list and as soon as this user logs in basically he will be redirected to this app. Okay. You have different SkyDrive settings where you can manage your SkyDrive and which apps are or which data is uploaded to your SkyDrive and which files are uploaded, which uh, photos, videos and you can set even the quality uh, of the upload. And then you have some app settings which brings a new feature to Windows 8.1. You have notifications and here you see the app sizes. You see every app and you can you now know how big this app is. So for example the weather app takes about 37 megabytes and now you can know uh, which app takes space on your computer and uninstall it, uninstall it if you don't need it anymore. 
Well, privacy settings is, well, just as the name says. Device settings has something new. Here you have the PC details of uh, your computer, basically, which you can also see on the control panel and desktop mode under system. Here you have uh, some new device settings of mouse and touchpad. This is really great for uh, users of a desktop or notebook without a touchscreen. So here you can turn the touchscreen on and off. You can enable swiping in from the left or right edge. And I will just do this and try it. But I think on in the virtual machine it doesn't work, it just recognizes the mouse. Uh, and you can re uh, reverse the scrolling direction which is really cool for Mac users who are switching to Windows 8. Um, here you have wireless settings, you can manage your devices and in autoplay you can set what happens if you uh, add some media through a USB stick or whatever. Um, in the network settings you can basically do just that what you know from the control panel on uh, Windows 8. You uh, have home group settings, you can manage your connections, you have proxy settings, and you have these workplace um, settings. Well, time and language is just... Well, you can change the time and language in the pro version of Windows 8. Um, ease of access settings, update and recovery, and activate Windows. This is basically everything the same as in Windows 8 and this feature switch to Windows 8 version is something I don't understand because you can I don't know whoever will use this but you can change the Windows 8.1 settings to the Windows 8 version of modern settings this just removes these settings uh, that are have been ad added through Windows 8.1 I don't know if anyone will use this but okay nice um, what is uh, an app that if has been added in Windows 8.1 is the Internet Explorer 11. Well, with this version of the Internet Explorer, you can now enable sync of tabs. So as soon as this opens. So here you see these three dots and you can now add a new in private tab and you can show the synced tabs. This feature will enable to sync your tabs to your Windows phone as it is possible on Mac OS X uh, through iCloud to your iPhone which is a really cool feature I think. And just to show you that this, this is really the Internet Explorer 11, I will show you the version number in options in about. So here you can see the version, it is 11.09374.0. You probably all know the snap view feature of Windows 8, which allows you to have two metro apps opened at the same time. For example, you can use maps and chat with a friend at the same time which I think is really great and in Windows 8.1 this feature has been even improved so I will just open for example Internet Explorer which takes a while actually and you, s you have seen before that my resolution of my PC is uh, 1024 with 768 and with Windows 8.1, even with this resolution, you can now use this feature. So, I will show you File Explorer with Windows Explorer, with Windows Internet Explorer. So, I will go to this app list and just pull it in. And here you see this 50-50 view, which actually works on even this low resolution. And with the new version of Windows 8, you can even change this snap, and which is really cool, I think. So now you can 
have a bigger Internet Explorer and if you need the Files app you can just make this one bigger. I think this is really cool. There have also been some apps added to Windows 8.1. One of these is Movie Moments, which is probably the same as Movie Maker. The other apps are Alarms, a Calculator and a Sound Recorder, which doesn't work for me. Well, as you will see on the desktop, there is no start button, which have, has been rumored in the past weeks in to arrive in Windows 8.1 but seemingly there is no option to enable it and there is also no possibility to enable boot to desktop except uh, adding a user with the kiosk mode. Well, I think that's it. Thanks for watching and see you next time.